Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Andrea and this is Beauty with Andy. Thank you so, so much for joining me today and taking some time out. I really do appreciate it. So today's video is going to be an eye look with the Ciarte, what's this one called? Aspen palette so sorry for blinding you but it just looks like that and I have been chomping at the bit to get into this ever since about a week and a half ago when I first started pulling um, products from my shop my stash and I've got to say guys that the bi-weekly or fortnightly shop my stash just isn't for me I'm already missing pulling things out because I've been using I feel like I've been using them too often um so i've had a lot of use out of them so that is good um but on the plus side i have been missing going into my shop my stash every week so i've got five days to with this palette before i can actually pick products out um so we will be doing that um and we'll be doing a look with this it's a blue look um so yeah let's get into it i'm hoping it's gonna turn out okay and not too dark and smoky i've been using like kind of cool and neutral eyeshadow palettes all week so I really do like um, the fact that I've got this one in the collection to use so this is what it looks like I mean isn't it beautiful like for starters today I really do want to use this and although I said it's a blue palette which it primarily is that is more of a green shade I would say um, so yeah let's um, Right, we'll go in with a shade here. Now guys, I don't know if these palettes come with names. So if you've got a Ciarte palette like this, if it comes with sheets normally, can you let me know in the comments down below? I got this one from, from TK Maxx. It was the last one there and it just didn't come with any names. So I just figured it doesn't come with names, um, which is... Right, so the light went out, so I've done one eye, which we'll talk about in a second. I just want to get this done because I'm in a rush to get to my mum's. It's Sunday and I'm already late for a Sunday dinner. Um, so yeah, we just want to complete this eye, do the same as what I did here. I do like it, but I did notice a few things wrong with the palette, which I've heard these palettes can be quite temperamental. Um, so... What did I do? I went in with a shade first. So let's quickly dust that onto the crease. The brush that I used before, it just didn't work. Um, and that's why I'm using the Smashbox brush now. This is a lot better. It's a simple eye look, but I think it looks nice. My eyes are really having a hard time and my nose is running like crazy. Yesterday, ugh, I went into the pharmacy just to inquire about those Optrex eye drops. And guys, they're like £16. It's like £16 for eye drops. Um, you can get the normal ones for dry and, dry and tired eyes at 4 99 so I think I'm just going to get those. I mean... If I won the lottery, yeah, I'd pay £16 for eye drops, but, I, you know, I'm just, I just don't have that money. If you used to say, um, there's an eyeshadow palette for £16, it would be a complete different matter. Should really take better care of my health than worry about makeup. So it's not done it on this eye, but this dark brown, I didn't tell you what I went in with, this dark brown here, um, on this eye, I mean I've sorted it out now, kind of skipped, um, but it's not done it here, so it's not the palette, obviously it was me, um, which I'm not the best blender in the world, um, so yeah. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in with this blending brush and blend them together. Hope this light doesn't go out. It's just a really simple eye look. It's um, only like three eyeshadows. No, four. Okay. 
do something quick. But I might have to blend that out a bit in, the, in a little while. I've dropped something, I can't see what it is. Um, so now I'm going to go in with my Real Techniques accent brush. But it doesn't really work in this shade. This shade here, guys, is just a topper. You can see it's just a topper. I don't know why I put that on, on by itself. Um, but it is a really, really pretty, sh pretty shade. Um, so when you build it up, you have to really build it up. But when you really build it up, it is pretty. And when you wet your brush. It's a unique shade to, to my collection. I've not got anything like this in my collection. I definitely want to get more of these Ciate eyeshadow palettes. For the price that they sell them at TK Maxx for, I pay $9.99 for one. But when it comes to paying, I think either the $24.99 or $29.99. And I won't pay that. Um, because I can get higher end ones. I don't really consider, even though it is, I don't consider Ciate as really higher end. If anyone's got this palette who watches the channel, what do you think? Or if anyone's got any of the eyeshadow palettes in general, what do you think about them? I'd love to know your comments down below. See, it looks nice now, and what we're going to do now is I'm um, just spray the brush that I was using, and then we're going to get some more pigment. I mean, I watched someone called Joy. I think she, I think her name's Joylyn Grindle. I'll leave her channel either just here or in the comments, and she was trying one of these, um, and I don't think she put a primer on at first, and then. The next time she put a primer on, I mean, although I did have a primer on, I mattified it, didn't I, with the eyeshadow in this palette. So I might try and, like, you know, give it a sticky primer next time and see if we can get these shimmers a little bit more pigmented. You don't have to do that with the mattes, in my opinion. Um, the mattes turned out fine, um, but yeah. The this is just a topper. Toppers never show up well, in my opinion. Um, not even in my Huda Beauty Retrograde, the toppers in there show up that well. So now I'm just blending this out. Should be a relatively short video, this, because I'm literally just doing the one eye on camera, so... I'm sorry about that, but yeah, I did want to show you what this palette is capable of. Um, and then I'm going in with this silver just in the inner corners. It's a really pretty silver. That's really pigmented. I think this eye with that top of shade looks more pigmented. I'm just going to tap some more on. I could literally be here all day tapping this on. It is a beautiful, beautiful colour. It's like a greeny gold. Um, so yeah, really, really pretty. Right, and then on the lash line, I went in with the same brown I used on the outer V. So I'm just going to go in with that. Not too sure what lipstick I'm going to wear with this look. So, I mean, you can't even see what I'm doing. Story of my life when it comes to lash line. I can hear the birds. Wondered what that was. Right, and then on the brow bone, what I did is, this will be no shock to you if you watch my channel, my Get Ready With Me's especially, is going with this um, cream shade here. I 
And then for for tight lining, got round the end, and I'm just using the Too Faced Love pencil. Right, and then I'm using two mascaras. I'm using this Mana Kadar one, which I don't like. I've decided I don't like it, um, but I just want to use it up. Oh, I don't need to do it on that eye. I've already done that eye. And then we're going in with the pound land one. It's one of my favourites, guys, and it was just a pound. Can you believe that? And it's got a really nice comb brush on it. So it just lengthens, volumes, does all what you'd want it to do from a mascara. Right, and then because I've got some mascara on the eye, I need to just put in a little bit more of that top of shade. Right, that'll do. Right, so what I need to do now is just grab a lipstick and then we're done. Right, let's just wipe this oil off. Okay, so we're going to be using one I've not used in a hot minute. So this is the Stila Patina. I used to love this lipstick. Let's see if I still do. <clears throat> and I'm putting this one on because I wear a mask I've got to go to the shop before I go to my mum's and pick some bits up for her um, so I don't want to wear just a cream lipstick so let's see what this looks like it's still as I remember which is really really nice the smell still as I remember I really do like the way it's looking I mean it's not dried down yet but I should be able to put my mask on and um, it shouldn't smear all over the place which is what I hate with lipsticks. So guys, this is the look. I'm really sorry you didn't get to see me do both eyes but I thought I would do this eye off camera because I am in a rush and then I would do this eye with you guys. Um, so that's how I created the look. With the palette, um, just on first impressions, I've only used four eyeshadows out of the 15. Is it 15? No, 18, sorry. Um, so we used this shade here. That blended out really well. And then when we got to this shade on the right eye, it could have just been me, like I said earlier. I started noticing it was skipping. It was patchy just in the inner corner, which I managed to sort out. So it could have been user error love love this shade here that I've got all over the lid but it is a topper shade um, so if you're not into topper shades you're probably not going to like that it might go on better with a glitter glue which I will try um, and then we use this silver in the inner corners real real pretty I really like that and then again this brown over brown on the lash line so we've used a few colours from the palette I will be doing five days five looks with it um, and then we'll be going back to shopping my stash for the upcoming week um, after I've done that but yeah so far so good with the palette um, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys tomorrow for day two look two let me know your thoughts on the um, eye look that I've created today I would really appreciate your feedback and if you've not already subscribed to the channel I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and click the notifications bell please like share and of course comment I love reading your comments and I will see you again tomorrow bye guys